dear members of the African Renaissance and Diaspora Network, honorable guests, distinguished delegates, colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to address you during the fourth Africa Open for Business Summit organized by the African Renaissance and Diaspora Network. The topic for this year around economic empowerment of women through the African continental free trade area is timely as the continent is recovering from the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The role of women is central to that process. Africa will reach its urban transition by 2040, with half of the population living in cities. As Africa is rapidly urbanizing, cities are becoming centers of economic development. Yet, women are facing many challenges, preventing them to play their full role as economic actors towards inclusive urban development. Women face restrictions to own land and property, lack access to capital markets and financing, bear the burden of the lack of access to water and sanitation, especially in informal settlements, and have limited access to digital systems. Lifting these barriers will be critical to achieve sustainable and inclusive urban development in Africa. UN Habitat has put women at the center of its strategic plan with the aim of promoting inclusive and gender responsive urban management. The agency also aims to use urbanization in Africa as an opportunity for gender equality. Recently, UN Habitat launched her city toolbox, which includes methods and tools to scale up and mainstream women and girls' participation in urban planning and design. Through the Global Land Tool Network, a global alliance to promote access to land, UN Habitat is addressing tenure security for women. More than 15,000 women benefited from this program, funded by Sweden and the Swiss Cooperation in Uganda, Kenya, Zambia, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. UN Habitat is also promoting interventions on municipal revenues to allow investments in basic services for internally displaced women in Burkina Faso and Somalia. In Somalia, UN Habitat initiated cash transfers to support women entrepreneurs to recover from COVID-19. We have learned from various projects and partnerships that women are the backbone of urban development and growth. We should shift towards more gender responsive urban policies and governance with the view of implementing the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. We should aim to promote exchanges among women across borders for business incubation and trade. As a gender champion in the United Nations, let me reaffirm my commitment to advance the women's agenda in Africa. The African Union has just concluded its meeting in Cairo and has defined priority actions for the continent to move towards the urban agenda. We shall converge to that framework with our resources, knowledge, and tools to inspire African leaders for more economic empowerment of women and girls to achieve the Africa Vision 2063. And we look forward to further discussing women's role in advancing sustainable and inclusive urban development during the UN Habitat Assembly in June 2023. Thank you for your attentions.